Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and today we're going to be taking a look at Football Manager 2014. A game that, if you're unfamiliar with it, it's a lot like other games that involve soccer or football, wherever you're from, what you want to call it, except you are just the role of the manager or the coach. You control all kinds of day-to-day -day functions, you control all kinds of things with the press. The one thing that you don't do is you control the action on the field directly, so there's no controlling players, but it is a very deep game. There's a pretty high learning curve, especially for someone like me, who actually does not follow English football or any uh, regular football other than American football continuously but it's okay this is still a game that has taken more time out of my steam library as a series than any other game so i'm very familiar with it i'm looking forward to sharing it with you all and today i'm going to be starting a series here that i'm also posting on operation sports and possibly fm base as well uh, that is a lower league management style game now for those of you unfamiliar with what lower league management means let's go ahead probably the best way to do it is to just go ahead and click and show you the club page for this. This is a game that, yes, Football Manager, some people will call it a spreadsheet simulator. They're not wrong. There's a lot of data that's going to pop up all over the place. But a lower league management uh, game follows a few very specific, very important rules. And I'm going to kind of go through them in context, show you my game a little bit. And I'll tell you, I've played a little bit ahead in the save. So this is me actually loading a uh, new game. And I'm going to load in a few other things just to show you kind of what it looks like. This is not the current status of my game. But I'm playing a stock... County FC, which is a team that actually made it to the second highest division in English football and has since been, these red dots mean relegated, which if you're unfamiliar with how uh, English football works, I kind of wish American sports would do this too, is that if you finish in the bottom rungs of uh, your standings, you'll get kicked down to a lower league. If you get past or get into the top part of your standings, you'll get moved up to a higher league. Yes, I know that means some, some of my hometown teams would have been relegated and possibly never come back up, but hey, it's a sacrifice you have to make. So here we go. Stockport has had a fall that is greater and faster than any other team really in European football. I mean, that's uh, since the year 2000, they've been relegated down from the Champions League all the way down to the Skrill North, which is lower than the uh, Skrill Premier League. It's actually out of league football. So it's the minor leagues of the minor leagues. But this is this is kind of the home screen here. We're starting with a team that is in the lowest division possible. And here's kind of we're talking about out of all the leagues that are in this game this is the 120th strongest here and if you look at european reputations you have your premier league and i do have a few things loaded which will piss off some uh traditionalist for this mainly that uh i actually have german teams loaded in here although i'm not able to view them right now and which means german players as well due to licensing issues they're not by default in the game also changes a few names doesn't have any new players loaded or anything but here's the scroll league i'm actually predicted if i want to go to the season preview here predicted to finish six which kind of sucks considering i was just relegated in my squad should be good enough to go to a higher league but that's one rule here for lower league management you want to actually have a uh, a team that's in the bottom rung. My goal is to get them all the way back up. Another rule for this, and you'll see that there's all kinds of rules here, is that I have I cannot actually use the transfer center to actually search for players. And there's all kinds of filters you can do. All these things are very nice, very friendly. Same with staff, blah, blah, blah. You can look for all kinds of good information and everything. I'm not even paying attention to what's on the screen because I'm not allowed to use it. Instead, I have to use scouting. Yay, scouting. And you can see my club's knowledge is pretty abysmal. I am an American-British coach and i have an english scout you can see that he has decent ability for a lower league scout here high discipline high adaptability okay working with youngsters which means he'll be able to tell the potential of younger players all right but his judging ability and judging potential are pretty abysmal considering it's out of 20 not bad for lower leagues but pretty abysmal so you in order to get actual players you have to use these scouting reports which i have none generated because i just loaded a new save but i'll show you what that looks like later in other words, you can only use it by like assistant recommendations or players that you see across the field. Uh, you can't just search for players to try and plug and play the best stats and make that work. Another rule for this is that actually in terms of using tactics, you can't just load tactics from wherever. But because I am playing a little bit ahead of this, I am actually going to go ahead and import the tactic that I have been using in my save, which I tried to recreate before, but I had a recording error. So we're just going to put this here. This is not the only tactic I'm going to be using, but it's the one that I'm starting out with here. So we'll just kind of quick pick this. And this is what it looks like. This is the tactic. This is football. This is coming from somebody who does not watch it regularly, doesn't know things very well, and has had to learn by trial and movement. This is actually pretty similar to uh, the first tactic I used in uh, Football Manager 2010, which did pretty well for me, but the match engines changed. So... 
Here we go. It's a 4-1-2-1-2. It's a very narrow formation. It works on getting things up the field, in the middle of the field, kind of linking everything together just to try and attack from the middle of the box. So it's very aggressive. I want to try stay attacking or counter. Overload used to be what I run, but overload kind of concedes too many goals. I play rigid style, rigid, very rigid, fluid, very fluid. There's a lot of different information for how you want to use these things, but I tend to stick with rigid for the same reason that I tend to stick with, uh, wow, that's not what my tactic is at all. Okay, that's what it used to be, but I don't know why it has that as default right now. Should be retain possession and pass ball or shorter passing because honestly, if you look at my players, like let's look at Melke, one of my best players here. These stats are out of 20. These stats are not very good. So because my players are not that skilled, I actually need to, uh, I don't know, actually use or have them do things like shorter passes, not try and do things that have as many flair because he's one of my best midfielders and his passing is still a 9 out of 20. His uh, let's see, his marking, which is for defending, is a six out of twenty. His uh, technique is a nine out of twenty. So he's good. He's just not that good. Or right, then let's see here. We have like my best, one of my best strikers here. Really, really physical. Some physical talents very good for Skrill. Ten pace. It used to be in football manager if you had fourteen pace or gold, and that's not the case in fourteen anymore. But still, he is one of my best forwards, and his finishing is only nine. But if you look at the assistant report for him. And you're allowed to use these as much as your assistants can get them here. Um, he is um, considered one of the best players in the club. He is a Skrill uh, premier level, top level player, and he's most likely not going to improve in the future. But you'll also notice he has a CR CTR. That means he's out of contract. So this is kind of the tactic that I'm using here, and I can go into a little bit more detail with that tactic as we kind of talk about how the game works. So I'll just click on things real quick. I have an advanced forward. This is actually where Javon's plays right now. And I have Dixon or Dickinson up here who is a, a target man. And the goal here is to have the advanced forward who's on attack. Maybe it should be support, but I like kind of having a modified 4-3-3 for this. These three players are going to be trying to kind of make pieces here. Uh, where the target man feeds the ball to the other two movements forward. Then I have a ball-winning midfielder and an advanced forward, both on support roles. They try and link the back and front line. Defensive midfielder to just hold up the defenses here, and then your two full backs, which are just moving automatic, and I'm still having trouble fill those positions. Your central defender's defending, and I've given some players some individual instructions, which is new to 2014, or they're supposed to have instructions. But apparently, for some reason, transferring these stats did not adjust their instructions. But just things like shoot more often, run wide with the ball, things like that. So that's just kind of what we that's kind of what we want to do here. Like target man, shoot more often, fewer risky passes, things like that. Because I have low skill. But that's kind of the team here. Let's actually look at the team itself real quick, just to show you all. You've already gotten a taste of what assistant reports look like. Yay! This is current ability, potential ability for the future, and the uh, assistance recommendation. So you can see my best player is out of contract. I can try and offer him a contract right now, and he's going to reject me because he thinks I don't have the finances. He's probably right, considering that my payroll budget is very low. Very low. So, yeah. He's just trying to play on me until someone else can sign him, and someone can pluck him up at any time. But you can see that I have some five-star players. And note that this is relative to my competition. So if I do get promoted, and my goal is to get promoted the first season, that this will get lower and lower. I'm going to have to improve my squad. But I bring this up because I have some players that are high potential uh, but not very good right now. But the important thing, too, is to look at, because this is a lower league management team, you got to look at contracts. And you can see right here, I have some players that are making way too much money. Turncliffe, Janrock, Jevons, they're key players but ugh, they're, they are costing me a ton of money. And you can see they're valued at like 22.5, 22.5, but I'm not going to be able to sell these players for anything on that. No one's going to buy them for that amount. I'd only be able to transfer them for zero, more than likely. But the saving grace is that all of these players' contracts expire June 30th, 2014. So at the end of the season, and they're all part-time contracts, so I can pretty much rebuild the squad as I want to, possibly re-sign these guys. They'll be happy to join me if I do get promoted. But, I mean, honestly, this is this is a lot of my budget right here. So one of the first things I'm going to have to do is to retool. But, yeah, this is, a, this is the uh, coach screen as well. You can see that there's different confidences that the board will have in me. And this is mostly what it looks like right now. I have some different expectations. I'm expected to make a playoff spot. I'm expected to, uh, in the FA Cup, reach the first round, which is going to be a little bit of tall order. 
second round of the FA Trophy. Those are all just different competitions. You can also make promises to the board. I promise to play more attacking football and score on set pieces. I'll show you how that went a little bit later. But yeah, this is kind of just the layout of the game. And I do want to show you all a little bit of gameplay. And I'll apologize ahead of time. The first game or two is going to have some kind of choppy or rough around the edges. Just because I was too excited to record some of the opening stuff. And not excited enough to actually take the time to test and make sure it looked good. So first half of the first game is pretty choppy. I can just put a link past it if you want to go past it as well. But what I'm going to do here now is kind of jump back into the past where I did start to record this save. Just because I want to show you all a little bit more about this game. And I think it's important for you all to be able to see play here, but just so you all know, and this is still freaking me out because they call it matches now instead of fixtures, which is what I'm used to here. I went ahead and I've gone through all the friendlies trying to get my uh, squad's uh, goodness up, all their training up. Oh, and, and so the first game we're actually going to be looking at is Boston United, who's uh, the Pilgrims are just kind of a middling team in the Skrill. They're just kind of stuck there. But one thing I did not really take into account in my training is that if we look here, or more, more specifically, let's go to change focus here. See these? Unprofessional. I only get to train half the time. So my tactics, you, I'm used to my tactic being good after a pretty aggressive friendly schedule. Not this time. So I'm going to have to deal with the fact that my players only train half the time, fortunately. Same is true for my competition, but I'm putting in a new offense. So that's kind of football manager, the... Uh, start side the intro side i wanted to show you all that just a little bit to give you all some insight and now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, first gameplay that i have here like i said it's a little choppy at first it gets better all recordings from this video on should be fine but that's it for now this is way to fail hope you enjoy football manager i hope the uh kind of change in format doing some videos and some actual forum posts is kind of a different take on how I tend to do these things instead of going through every game meticulously and just doing one or the other. But I hope you all enjoy the uh, format. I hope you all stick around with it and look forward to showing you more of this game as maybe I can take Stockport all the way up from where? All the way down here, scroll north, all the way to the Premier League. It's possible. I've done it before. Let's see if I can do it again. But first things first, first game of the season. So let's go ahead and do this. Whoa, Boston has a... That's not the formation I remember. This is actually the formation I ran in a, when I was doing an English hero run in 2012 here. So this is going to play very wide to my narrow. And I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I'm going to have to hope for uh, superior things. Let's go ahead and select our team. Now Mark Lees is currently... Who's our subs right now? We have one midfield two defenders because we only have five subs another midfield and striker another striker so that's pretty good i'd love to get lees on there i'm taking a calculated risk not going with another goalkeeper lofthouse is terrible but he has good potential so we'll try and get him some play here over time but yeah that's pretty much this and we're just going to go and submit the team because i want to get into the gameplay just a little bit and you can see <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. <coughs> wow. The gameplay of this game is actually very different than you might be used to. Because if you've played FIFA Manager or something, you actually get to play the teams. Nah, -uh, here you are the manager. So you get to do everything but actually control the action on the field. Now you can yell at people and try and get them to do something. But we have your prediction from the press. They're saying it's a draw, even though I'm the favorite here. But they will sometimes go against it. And here is a recreation... <coughs> Really sorry. Recreation of the home field for Stockport, which is actually, although it's one of the generic stadiums in the game, it's actually kind of does look like this in real life if you look at pictures. Now, what I do for lower league management, my strategy here is to, uh, whoa, didn't mean to do that, um, is to actually go and do some specific player instructions here myself. And I do it by position. I just really, especially with this kind of formation, I want to show them on weaker foot. I really hope they're not inside forwards. But we're going to see. My scouting, my uh, coaches are all pretty low rated, so I kind of have to go on my own here. But I do try and do some work just to uh, do this. I find player instructions very important and something that is constantly overlooked. Set pieces, corner kicks, that's how I want them. Free kicks, okay. Throw-ins, okay. Probably should have some other players set to do that. But let's go ahead and go to the pep talk. Now, pep talking is also very important. And you get to give this to people right before we get started with the game here. And you can see my team has good morale. Not great morale, but still good morale. I tried to do some uh, confident building friendlies at the end. They, and my advice from my 
coaches. Oh wow, I can get advice from different coaches. They want us to. They want me to say pick up where they left off. But I'm at home. We're gonna go calm. Notice that we can do all these different things. You never want to skip the talk here. Let's see here. Uh, we're the favorites, but we're not that high favorites. Uh, where you should be winning without any problems. Uh, we play our game. We're very capable of that. Let's give fans performance. I tend to do that. Uh, you know what? This is the opening game at home. Uh, go out there straight from where you finished the last match. So keep it up is a good one. Uh, let's give them a performance. Let's do this one. Let's see what the coaches do. They, we have some listen keenly, so that's okay. Not the max option here. Team talks are still something new that I'm trying to get here, at least compared to 2012. So I believe in you is a good one to have. I have faith in your ability because you can do individual talks as well. And you can see you want green reactions. You don't want red reactions here. Look, because player confidence is sometimes, especially in lower leagues where everybody kind of sucks, is a huge, huge, huge deal. Listening keenly is good, but we want our players to go in as confident as possible. And you can see that we're going to have in just a minute. Maybe a really good team, maybe a, a team. Like I said, I have no idea how my team is going to do it. But this is Football Manager 2014. Look at everything running around. As we have some uh, perky jerkies going on here. I may have to pause this just to see if I can get a, a 60 frame per second recording. But we get little score updates for uh, our division as well. All right. Ben Smith, the goalie I signed early on in there, has been kind of dicey. Sometimes he's been really good, sometimes he's not. And Ian Craney is looking nervous, which is not great. And we get some updates from the uh, assistant manager as well. He's taken a knock, but he should be okay. And if we look at the tactics right away, we're about 10 minutes. This is a decent time to do this. Taking a knock is not that big of a deal. What I want to look at, though, is Brown's feedback from my assistant manager. We're missing way too many short passes. And we're being overrun midfield, which is not surprising me because they're playing wider here. So we're going to go ahead and change the tactics here. If we're missing too many short passes, let's take off short passing. I could do passing in the space, but I think turning off short passing is going to be enough. I want to play ball control and go forward because you can get some trends by about 10 minutes. Here, so. Okay, so come on, pass it. Pretty good. You're a terrible shooter. But so far my team's doing about what I want to do here. But you can see... There's some unfamiliarity with the tactics. So. My players are going to be passing around more than I'd like, but they're trying to set up a good shot. But it looks like Boston clears, and my team's looking a little nervous, so that's not great. Like I said, I feel like I'm a superior team, but until my team gets their tactic down, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the best. And right now, everybody's a little unsure. Right? It's kind of like a lot of things in football. You're just looking for that one opening. That was a horrible shot. Horrible, horrible shot. All right, so they're saying we should do a different tactic entirely, and you can get caught doing this. But I don't. I think let's not do retain possession, and let's not play narrow. Let's let's try and break this down just a little bit here. So those are okay. Exploit the flanks. Let's confirm here. So my players are nervous. It looks like the team talking going to need to do something at halftime. That's probably the biggest deal for why we're being overrun. Which is funny because it's like I'm an incompetent manager. And I put my experience not as automatic but as Sunday week football. Like, just because automatic can be... It's all pretty low. But if my team wasn't so nervous, I'd be in better shape. But... We're going to look at some stuff at the halftime here. I don't really like going 0-0. I was expecting a little bit more. All we need is one goal. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to take a quick pause just to change my record settings and hopefully get a little bit smoother show in the second half. All right, so change some settings. Try to change the audio too here. So we'll see if this records a little bit more smoothly or not. Now it should be. I'm going to apologize for the herky-jerkiness before. But what do we got here? We got I'm nearly tied. My team, I think what they really need is just encouragement because they're pretty nervous right now. And I could have my assistant do the talk here, but I feel like that's what I need to do. Um, let's give fans performance. They expect you're go, uh, doing well. Just let's hear. So still coming to match to win today. We can still win this one. Hmm. So like, let's see here. If I allow my assistant to give the talk, you can see here. 
Uh, cautiously, we can still win this one. I don't think cautious was the best approach here, but yeah, 6.4, 6.3, maybe the right here. So make the difference is a really, really powerful individual talk because it tends to almost always have a positive reaction here. Like none of my players have stunk, but because my team's not fully prepared for matches here, I'm going to have some clunkers like this maybe. So right now I kind of got to watch my fitness. I kind of got to watch my players. I got to see what I can get out of my team because right now it's going to come down a lot more to team talks and just trying to get that one goal here than everything else. So, But at least I have the home field advantage. I haven't exactly been able to get forward very well here, so too many easy passes. Let's actually go back to tactics here. And let's go ahead and set retain possession. And we're not gonna I kinda want to do retain the possession and everything, but let's play narrower. Don't know why that wasn't on there. Maybe I took it off, but we'll We'll see if we play our game if that's enough here. And there we go. Recording looks like it's going much better, or I'm not recording at all. And we have the Vesuvulas or whatever you call in the background. That's a little irritating. But my players are still oh my god, my players are still nervous. That's not what I want for my team right now. Okay, so hope, I guess at this point we're going to have to sub out some players who aren't doing too hot. Probably the 60-minute mark is usually where I'd like to do that. So Liam Dixon's looking exhausted out there. I bet he is because he got hit earlier here. So let's go ahead and do 60 minutes, 61 minutes. Let's look at my team overview first off. So Craney's nervous, 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 nervous. I want to get my nervous people out, but I, I think because some of my players have done so poorly here... I probably just need to make some better subs. Like 6.2 is not very good. Let's get Dennis in there. That'll be a start. This I'd really need to get a shot in the arm for my offense. And unfortunately, for those of you that don't know, you can only make three substitutions. So who else is nervous on my team? O'Halloran and Cassidy. I bet Cassidy would be because he's just starting out, but I don't have a much better play here. And O'Halloran's actually my uh, fullback that can play fullback. And he's not doing awful. So let's put Cisco back here, or Sissoko. And let's bring Platt on. Now this is three subs at the 60-minute mark. Some people are going to say, oh my god, you don't know football. And you're right, I don't actually actively watch football, so I'm doing things very wrong. Once again, my familiarity with this tactic is really, really low and awkward. So anything I do here not to lose points is great. So it's here. I'm looking for you to make the difference. Deep thought. Deep thought's not bad. Kind of a neutral reaction here. Deep thoughts. And I believe in you. I should have probably done I believe in you instead. Oh, well. Back to the field. Because right now my players are just kind of being not too great. And you can see all these scores being scored everywhere else. At least my defense is holding. So that's a plus. And I do, by the way, have my uh, highlights running a little bit faster. So just waiting, 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 and this is going in real actual time here. For the throw-in, please, defense, do something good here. Maybe I should start going for that passing. That was almost a penalty. All right, clear it out. And I don't know if I should overload or not, but maybe I should... Uh, Tactical changes. There's our subs. And I have, I'm have. i starting to get frustrated, people, so that's not good. Once again, when our tactic is not doing so great, that tends to make a little bit of a difference. Now, the original tactic I had for this in 2012 was kind of a broken, terrible tactic. That's a pretty decent cross. Got to get the ball moving forward here. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. And he is definitely offside. He is way over the shoulder there. But that's the kind of movement that we want. Maybe I should go for more direct passing at this point. But yeah, what I used to do is overload and fluid. But in 2014, that doesn't work like 2012. 2012 match engine was pretty... Or 2010-2012 match engine pretty well exploded. Right there. So we're at 70 minutes. And we don't have uh, a lot of different stuff. Maybe my team's going to start doing a little more. I just need one goal. That's it. Just one goal. It's not a good shot. That's a terrible shot. Terrible. We need to get the ball inside. So let's change some instructions here. We're not going to go 
So we're going to go for direct passing. Pass into space. Let's play at a higher tempo too. See if I can outrun those guys a little bit. And this could backfire on me. And see, my assistant manager is already right. He's already like, no, no, no. We need to uh, turn our possession of working something into the box. I want to work the ball into the box. I thought I already had it set on this. Okay, so I have an injured player. I, I can't sub out. And that's one of my actual good players that I, that I can actually play his position. So that sinks a little and almost a goal. So it looks like we're going to have the very exciting 0-0 ties. My team is very... Okay, this is obviously not working. Direct passing, retain possession, shorter passes, higher tempo. Let's not play narrower. <coughs> We're going to go overload <coughs> and balance. I really want a goal. I really want to win this first game. That's not how you win the first game. Okay. Offside. I was, I was saved. All right. I didn't get a good look at whether that was offside or not. Sometimes you get replays of that, but on what I have, not really, so... Yeah, looks like it's going to be 0-0. And Boston will like that result better, but at least it's points. I really want points here, so... I'm disappointed with how my team did here. Cautious, and you seem demotivated. Well, you know what, Jordan? You did all right. So... I'm going to say, oh, look to switch off. Oh, I started to piss off some people. Uh-oh, look to switch off. I should have said you were unlucky. There we go. Starting to seem unlucky here. Now I'm just losing everybody. You are unlucky. Wow, this is like whack-a-mole. I've never actually had this happen before. Okay, so everybody's looking around trying to blame each other. 6.2. He's looking fired up, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm really not happy with this performance so far, but... Post-match analysis, I'm going to have some work to do because I want my uh, team to be motivated. And 0-0 zero, zero draw is not what I like, but my my team doesn't know the tactic. So at least I got a clean slate and we have points. So I'm going to go ahead and call that a video here, especially since I ran into some recording and recall issues due to a large file size of recording at 60 frames per second, which I've since fixed. But that's it for now. This is the first look at Stockport. You can see that uh, not knowing the tactic, especially after preseason, really <laughs> causes problems in the regular season. But that's it for now. This is Way to Fail. There will be much more Football Manager to come, because if there's anything you know about Football Manager, it's not something you do in just one sitting. So I hope you enjoy what you saw. Feel free to leave your feedback or thoughts in the comments. Otherwise, you're welcome to subscribe to me on YouTube. Check out the forum post on Operation Sports Plus, wherever else it ends up going. But that's it for now. See you next time.